And right now we're going to the Mega 7-Eleven. Comprised of aisles of never before seen snacks, advanced technology, and of course the best employees of all time. Great, okay, okay, yeah, thank you. I wanna try as, as many things. Thank you for, uh, for your help. Sticky, sticky rice? Ah, sticky rice. Which, yes. which one is better, this one or this one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, throughout all my travels here in Asia, I've found 7-Elevens absolutely fascinating. From offering incredible foods, to snacks, to drinks, to just being a part of the everyday culture. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we outperform them all by going to not only the largest, but also supposedly the best 7-Eleven in the world. Okay, so we are about to pull up to the mega store. Holy crap. This thing is just outrageous. Have a good day. Okay. How is this even a thing? This thing looks like more of a boat slash just everything store. Okay, my breath is officially taken away. Like, just look at the freaking design in here. Like, not only is it two floors, not only do they have an incredible amount of snacks, but ladies and gentlemen, there is a robot. What does the uh, robot do? Robot. Hello. Oh, you can wave? Hello. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Let's get to exploring. So this 7-Eleven is split up into a few areas. The store part with all the different snacks and goodies, a bakery, and also a, what looks to be a grab-and-go style cafe. First up, I'm gonna explore the entire store part. So there's a total of one and two snack aisles. And actually, I haven't really checked out the Thai snacks too much before, so Definitely got to try out a few of those. And first thing I'm noticing, I kid you not, on pretty much every other snack, there's a chili circle. I know that Thai people really like spicy food, so this might be a bit of a painful snack time. Like, where else in the world do you have a literal fire coming out of the chilies? You know what? I am incredibly interested to know if this fire holds up to the hype. And then now in this aisle, it seems to be the chips and also the sweet stuff. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like even on their sweet stuff, it says spicy BBQ. Chocolate spiciness? I mean, I've had dark chocolate with chili in it before, but it wasn't necessarily spicy. All right, Thailand. Spicy snacks are the way we're starting off here. And for chips, my plan is I want to find a flavor that I've never had before. Chokori balls. Cuttlefish flavor. I've never had cuttlefish flavor before, and these seem like, to be honest, they seem really good. And now onto one of my favorite parts, the ready-made food. Now this section is probably the one that separates US 7-Elevens from Asia 7-Elevens in general. And let me tell you, in Thailand, they truly take it to the next level. Like they have anything from an omelet over rice, ooh, to different dollar sandwiches, to sushi. So I honestly don't know. Is there something you would recommend here? Yes, I, I like sandwich. Cool. Ah, New yeah. Orleans chicken toast. It's your yeah. favorite? Yes. Cool, New Orleans. And right. this. Okay. Yes. And this. I'll grab all your favorites. All right. New product. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, Valentine's Day chicken. Che this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, the best service. Like, I love going to 7 Elevens in Asia. Okay, but we have four sandwiches now. <laughs> she had a lot of favorites. Hello. Hi, Stai. Ah, uh, what is it? It's. Um. Great. Okay, okay, yeah. Thank you. I want to try as, as many things. Thank you for, uh, for your help. <laughs> Ah, sticky rice. Which yes. which one is better? This one or this one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she came back a good like five minutes after she left and she was like, oh, try this too. Okay, and then 
there was the drink section. So, give me that Thai, not knowing what it is, purple drink. Hello. You are. Ah, uh, yes. All, all warm. Now, when eating, at the 7-Eleven, of course, you have multiple options on where you want to sit. So, there's a place downstairs, kind of a bar-style setup. And then up here, there is, of course, the second level with a full-on cafe. And then, back downstairs, is a full-on patio. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the first part. So without further ado, let's start the best 7-Eleven in the world taste test. So first up is a burger I've never seen before of the Valentine's Day burger. This thing is chicken, cheese, and is topped with pink cream sauce. And honestly, first impressions, this thing is one, incredibly deliciously messy and also jacked up with cheese. My heart feels so warm eating a Valentine's Day burger. Now, in terms of the flavor, it's Solid. The cheese just seems to be like packaged American cheese. The bread, also, you know, a packaged bread. Okay, next up we have a panini that they made in the store of what looks to be strawberry panini. Interesting choice for panini flavor, but honestly, after visiting 7-Elevens everywhere around Asia, you don't question the flavors they choose. The only way I can describe this one is it feels as though I've gone back in my childhood, so my mom gave me a snack I've never had before. I bite into it and then it gives me that childhood delicious taste that you just can't get when you're an adult. I have absolutely no idea if anybody understood that description, but that's my thought on the strawberry panini. So we're on the subject, let's try the other panini. Ooh, has a little bit of a kick to it. And let me tell you these like Thai panini things, I'm digging it. Number four is the ham and egg. I gotta say, I am impressed by the presentation of this packaged egg sandwich. That is some good stuff right there. Wow. It's like a little egg croissant burrito. Ham's good, egg is fresh, the flakiness of the bread also is amazing. All things that I like in my breakfast. Now on to the snack hour. These might kill me and these are like a second degree hotness. Just looking at them, they seem like they're either gonna be incredibly hot or just like not spicy at all. Just kind of the hype of, oh, it's the chili on the cover. Okay, that was without a doubt one of the most unique desserts I have ever had. It doesn't really taste like chocolate and it doesn't really taste like chili. It's just kind of like this in the middle point. Almost like a like a chocolate mole. Like it still has a chocolate flavor to it, but it's in no way a chocolate. And then the dangerous one. One where there's not just one chili on the cover. There's not two, but there's three. And along with that, there's fire. But if it's going to burn my mouth off, so be it. Cheers to cultural discovery. So that is officially the um, hottest snack I've ever had in a 7-Eleven before. But the purple drink, it helped a lot. All right, so welcome back everybody to section number two. Okay, so before going to the restaurant, I'm just interested to have a look around at like the miscellaneous items they have here other than food. Oh man, these are the cutest eye masks in the world. Ooh, they have like a... <laughs> this is what I mean. This is when you know you're at the biggest and best 7-Eleven in the world. There is a freaking map to show you around at like what to buy. I have never seen anything like this before. This is a the retail store monitoring system. So it shows you how much energy they've used today. It shows you like the times up and down because they're a 24 hour store. And then it compares the day to day consumption and also shows the seven days 
of energy. And then it shows where the energy has been used for seven days. So lighting is 21%, equipment 23 air conditioning and refrigeration, I mean, there's, there's no surprise there. It's close to 50% and then others is five. But anyway, let's see what this cafe slash bakery has to offer. Salad, lava creamy omelet on rice, different types of dim sum. Yes, I will have uh, one of these. Yeah. Uh, eat here, yes. Well, so there's like an actual little kitchen back here where she's making the eggs and also frying up the bacon. Thank you. So got to do this a little bit faster than I thought because we got our food right away. But now let's grab some bakery stuff. Honestly, I am impressed by the variety here. Like normally at 7-Elevens you have, you know, easy things like maybe a, a donut or a cookie. Like they got a bunch of stuff here. They have pineapple pie, mushroom pie, corn pie, chicken curry pie. Any type of pie you can think of. And then over here, they have all different types of what looks to be kind of like cheesy stuff, like a giant bacon cheese stick, chicken sausage bread, ham and cheese bun, double sausage roll, and a golden heart. I think I gotta go with the golden heart. One, so cute. Two, so buttery good. And supposedly they make all the bread fresh every day, so, Honestly, the purple loaf is staring me in the face. Okay, <laughs> let's bring my massive tray upstairs. Oh my God, look at that egg. <laughs> Big lunch, yeah? <laughs> you selfie. Or huh? you sell bye, goodbye. I selfie? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Ah, you, you want a selfie? <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, we can do selfie, yeah. I, I go eat my, uh, my massive lunch now. <laughs> See you. <laughs> <laughs> Such good vibes here. It's insane. First off, I have a dish that was made at like a tiny restaurant in 7-Eleven. Then fresh bakery stuff of the hot dogs wrapped in a brioche. Nice little buttery heart. And of course, the purple bread. I don't know what my fascination is today with purple, but purple drink, purple bread. So honestly, I think this is going to be the best thing that I've ever had from a 7-Eleven. So I am so excited to start off with that first. I'm just like so ready to pop this out. Oh man, that looks unreal. Just take a look at that perfection of a bite right there. The sunny side up, you have beautiful bacon strips, the omelet and the egg. Thailand knows how to do 7-Eleven. Best thing I've ever had at 7-Eleven. Like normally when you go to a 7-Eleven, in Asia, you know, you feel excited. The food is, you know, gonna be new, it's gonna be pretty decent. But let me tell you guys, it has never been literally cooked in front of me. Next up is the hot dog. Now this is possibly the richest hot dog I have ever seen. Like you have just butter covering the entirety of that brioche bun right there. Never have I ever seen a hot dog that's glistening so much. Very interesting. Um. I mean, it's good. It's just not exactly what I was expecting though, actually. This is an issue actually. Everywhere around the world they have different types of ketchup. And in Thailand, it's a very specific type of ketchup that I actually forgot about. Less tomatoey, more so like a Swedish kind of sauce. Now in terms for the heart butter. Honestly, I think they made this a heart because it's pretty much a croissant with a bunch of butter. And croissants already are made with butter. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, 7-Eleven needs to have a bakery in every store because this thing is absolutely jamming. At first I thought the main draw of this was gonna be the butter and kind of sweet flavoring. Let me tell you, it was not only the butter, but also the bread. So all my bread dreams are certainly coming true here. <sighs> like you can just see layer upon layer of absolute freshness in that bread. That purple bread, that is it right there. Like if you take a look at the different layers there, those layers are actually filled with some sort of purplish cream. I'm literally in shock right now. So all I gotta say, 7-Eleven, you will forever surprise me in Asia. However, today on this beautiful, incredible day here in Pattaya, you've truly taken things to the next level. But anyway guys, comment below your reaction to this mega 7-Eleven. Super interested to hear what you guys thought about this insane place and I'll see you guys back on Friday.